Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 14th of 2020, well, it is titled NGC 5189, an unusually complex planetary nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a planetary nebula. This is what happens at the end of the lives of most stars. So a star like our sun and any less massive star and many even more massive stars until they get to a certain limit where the star will explode as a supernova. But the supernovae are relatively rare and reserved for the very massive stars. So most stars will do something like this and shed their outer layers. But as we study planetary nebulae, we find out that they are very different. They're not all the same. So we see some that just look like a ring of material that the star shedded out its outer layers all in one great pulse and pushed them out into space. We also see others with two lobes to them or in a helical pattern. But this one is very unusual and really complex. In fact, if you trace it out, you can make an S shape across the image. So from the top down through the middle where it's a little bit brighter and then back around the bottom. So it's a very complex one, which leads astronomers to think about what might cause this. And one of the reasons we think of for many of the more complex planetary nebulae are that they are parts of binary star systems. So one star had become a red supergiant and is the one shedding its outer layers, but it is affected by the gravity of another star around it. So the material is not expelled quite as simply as we might think in a situation with a single star. So here, this is uh, shed out perhaps that the uh, other star is affecting it and then it's shed out in various layers. So we have a ring of material towards the center which forms the central part of the S and if you trace that out you can actually see that's kind of a very distorted ring and that's much relatively recent compared to the other material. So perhaps material was pushed off in several different phases as these two stars orbit each other towards the cent at the center of this. Now, regardless of what will happen, this does happen at the end of life of almost every star. And what will be left behind is what we call a white dwarf star, where the core of the star has compacted down to about the size of our Earth. And the rest of the material was expelled out. So most of the material will remain there at the center. And as this material continues to expand outward, uh, perhaps again in tens of thousands of years, as the material begins to dissipate, we will able to be able to see what was left behind at the center here. So that was our picture of the day for August the 14th of 2020. It was titled NGC 5189, an unusually complex planetary nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.